Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. I realised I have not done a video for absolutely donkey's years. Um, talking months, I mean, I can't even remember how long it's been. Five, five months, I'm going to guess that. I'll have to see when I upload this. Um, apologies for that, I've had a lot going on. Um, one of the main reasons I've not done a lot of videos is um, since July, I've actually been trying to lose some weight. I've been on uh, dieting quite a lot and um, as a result, I haven't been drinking and therefore I haven't really been brewing. So I haven't really had a lot going on. Um, yes, yeah, so I've lost a stone and a half in weight so far, which is really good. I did put on about eight pound over Christmas, so I'm, hence the small, hence the small glass today, I'm um, trying to get back on track. Lose that and then I've got about another stone to lose. And then I'm sorted. So what have I been up to? Well, um, I need to do a black tooth grin taste video. I haven't actually done that yet. Um, however, Adam at Baldi's Brewery did try it and he's done a review on his channel. So have a look if you're curious to know how that went. I will try and do that review at some point in the near future. Um, I've written down some notes because I don't bloody remember otherwise. Um, yeah, a few things going on. I've joined um, a home brewing association called the Anglia Craft Brewers. Um, there's actually quite a few guys from my hometown, which I didn't realise. Um, the reason I found out about it is a pub in uh, town has, they call it the Shed Brewers Festival, and they have that every year. Uh, I didn't really find out about it till this year, and um, I just asked if I could maybe enter my beers for next year, and they said, well, you know, if you join the society, or the association, I should say. Um, yeah, and it's really good, so we have regular meetups at the pub, um, and they have sort of monthly meetings as well so it's really really good um, I've learnt quite a lot already uh, although I haven't really had much time to put any of it in practice but it's really good to um, you know meet up with homebrewers face to face you know YouTube is great and a couple of the guys you know I, I do meet up with them but they're up in London whereas these guys are 10 minutes down the road so that's really really good as well um, so some other news as well this is how far behind I am with everything on my videos um, I'm actually expecting a second baby well, my wife is, not me, obviously. Um, yeah, we're having a baby girl this time, due in April, so three months today, in fact. Uh, crikey, that's that's going to come around quick, I know it. So, obviously, I'm trying to get stuff prepared for that as well, hence the reason I've not been doing a lot of brewing. Um, and last, but by no means least, I now have a functioning kegerator, technically. Um, yes, Santa was very kind, he bought me regulator and ta a tap um, and beer line and all that stuff. Uh, I had the kegs from ages ago and I was just waiting to get the rest of the equipment. Um, so I've actually got one functioning tap, I don't know if you can see it from here, no? Okay. I'll, um, what I'll do is I'll take the camera off and give you a little uh, run around the beer fridge so you can see what it looks like. So here she is in all her glory. Um, I also have this annoying sticker thing here, said like, antibacterial lining blah 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 I managed to get that off in the end to gauge is scraping it off and got scrubbed up nicely so I've got one tap at the moment so I'm hoping to get the other one middle of the year um, I think it's probably standard setup to what you guys have got so you've got the shank obviously through there got the beer chin line so one keg at the moment I have checked and two kegs definitely fit very snugly I've also got room for this little shelf which not quite big enough to get 500 mil bottles in but some small 330 mil bottles can go in there and non homebrew potentially could go on its side uh, now the good thing for the gas line I had this drain hole I don't know how well you can see that probably should have put the flash on there's a drain hole at the back of the fridge so that tube just feeds into the drain hole and actually comes out the back so that just comes out here, which means I didn't have to drill into the side to put the gas in, which was an absolute result. So that's my regulator. Again, there's nothing going on at the moment. And that's my six kilo gas canister. While I'm here, I'll also show you my, I've got my latest brew on the go, which I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Um, again, because it's so cold, I've got a blanket and a fleece jumper over the top and an aquarium heater. Bloody all those adapters, God. Um, just to keep this up to temperature, because I haven't really got room in the house at the moment. 
to ferment. So that's it. Cheers. Yeah, so I've only got one tap up and running at the moment. I haven't quite got the funds for a second one. So I'll get the second tap up and running as and when I can. Uh, let's have another sip. This is the um, Munson Santa's Winter Warmer Kit. It's okay. It's not come out that well this year. I think um, maybe my palate's changed and I'm getting too used to all grain. But it definitely tastes quite a bit yeasty. Also, I mean, it's nice and clear. I don't know, it also didn't seem to ferment out quite as well. It didn't get above 5% and normally it's about 5.4, so I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, need to get on that. So I don't know, I don't know what happened with that. So maybe it's just my palate changing a bit as well and I'm getting a bit spoiled with all grey. Um, so I need to get some beer to put in my keg away because there's nothing in there at the moment. It is empty. So... Again, I have not got time to do all grain at the moment, so I've just knocked this up. Uh, it's Courage Best Bitter. I haven't tried, I tried a sample of the director's Courage, but I figured this is 4%, so it's a good session beer to have on tap, because if I stuck like a 4.5%, 5% on tap, that could be quite dangerous at the moment, considering it's my only one. Uh, so I've not tried the guy in the homebrew shop, and he did tell me that it was um, quite a good, nice, decent session beer. Like I said, I quite like the directors um, that they do, so we'll see. What's the worst going to happen? I'm sure it'll be drinkable, no matter what. Um, that is about it from me. Oh, the other thing I need to tell you as well is, um, I'm sure most of you have probably seen this already from other people's videos, but there's now like a BrewTubers, there's now like a BrewTubers Facebook group. Uh, I kind of thought that was a bit weird at first, but actually it's really, really good because you, people post on there um, advertising their channels, channels that you might ne not necessarily see ordinarily. I've gained about four or five subscribers already due to it, so welcome to you new guys. Yeah, it's really good. I've subbed to a couple of new people. Um, I'm quite behind on watching my videos. I'm slowly getting through them, so uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to catch up entirely with four or five months worth because I've not really even watched many videos. I've just been completely out of the brewing game to be quite honest. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a bit more time hopefully and watching some more of your guys' videos as well. So yeah, welcome to my new subscribers. Cheers. Um, other than that, <laughs> I am also making plans for Forward stock 2017. Um, that is hopefully going to be up and running at. That hopefully is going to go ahead. Um, I just need to do a bit, be a bit smart around the costing and stuff. Obviously, previously I did end up having to brew about 300 quid, spending about 300 quid brewing the beer up front, um, and obviously then had to wait until the festival to get that money back and new baby on the way, etc. I'm probably not going to be able to do that, so I'm just going to have to work out a way of taking the deposits up front or something just to help me out because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do it um, but I'm sure I will uh, work on that at some point and I will sort out that problem. Alright so that's it guys I'm going to go. Um, like I said um, apologies for the lack of videos I can't promise when I'm going to do another one but I'm again I say this all the time unfortunately that's how it rolls sometimes you know when, when things push for time when I push for time and things start going on, unfortunately the, these YouTube videos are one of the first things that gets dropped, which I don't like doing, um, but at the end of the day it's, it's a luxury and not a necessity I suppose. Um, so cheers everyone, happy homebrew Wednesday, and hopefully you will see me again soon, uh, if not I will apologise in advance. <laughs> cheers everyone, and remember it's not brew to be looked at. <laughs>